This is my vertical door booster tutorial thingy. Um, okay, there's a lot better on the internet, so I'm not sure why I'm doing these, but people requested them, so here they are. Start with a track. Now, these videos assume you already know, you know, the basics of my, uh, carts. So, you know, running two carts next to each other makes it boost, or what have you. Now, the biggest benefit that this system has... Whoops, must press fog. Uh, the biggest benefit that this system has is in multiplayer servers. It's very stable. There's, um... Because everything in it while it's not running doesn't move uh, that makes it really valuable in multiplayer servers the, the ones that move all the time they they're unreliable and you know they tend to tend to break a bit okay now I am just making this from memory I'll probably get it wrong uh, something like that. You want to put a side thing? Oh, we need a ladder. Yes, I have one. There. And then the door. Uh, you can use any kind of door. And the orientation of the door is very important. You, The door needs to be default uh, pointing that way so I think it's like that nope it's not let's just break this All right, let's try this again must be on the other side That looks right, I think. Okay, where's the carts? One, two. One down. Oh, I know you're going to get in the way. Oh, I should finish the track, too. Or else this isn't going to work at all. Okay going to jump in, isn't it? This damn pig. Go on, then. Go on. Okay. <laughs> Stupid thing. Now I have to stop it in the right spot. Okay. Okay, this is where they're normally orientated. He's stuck there now. That's good. We push our booster cart up the top. Oh dear. Okay, now the momentum of the cart needs to be able to put it all the way back up and push it against that ladder there. If it doesn't, it's just going to fall when the door opens on this empty block, which isn't going to really help anything. So I just need some redstone. Uh, we've got a button. I'm going to press the button, the door's going to open, it's going to drop the cart next to the pig, and it's going to run the pig off. In theory. Let's see if this works. Ta-da! Excellent. So, that's how the vertical door booster works. Obviously, you don't need a lot of this stuff. It's just safety measures so the cart doesn't fall off to either side. Uh, and that's how you make a vertical door booster. If you 
like this video and want to see more, subscribe, like, favorite, all that stuff. Uh, and I guess I'm going to have to make some more now. Time for you to get out.